Hi everyone, welcome to the Dedman Center. We're on the Radford campus, home of the Highlanders. Charleston Southern Buccaneers have got the ball after the opening tip, and what are we in for tonight with them, Jay? Mike, I think you can look for this team to go inside first, but then they're going to try to kick it out to try to get their perimeter game going. This is where they want to take advantage of their opponents with the three-point shot. And they've been so good all year penetrating and then kicking out to the opening man. Yeah, Mike, they like to get it in it, to the teeth of that defense, collapse it, and then kick it out to open shooters, and those guys are always ready to shoot when the ball arrives. Takes the shot. There's no need for the rush shot there. The coach can't be happy about that one. I love the attitude this team has come out with early in the game on the glass. That's the way to grab a defensive rebound right there. Stapley with it on top. The ball inside now. And throws. Mims missed it off the front of the rim. No good there with the inside shot. He makes a lot of those. Matera lays it in. Boy, he hits the easy two from that Matera! spot. This kid has really developed a nice shot from that area. Stapley has it up top. Graham misses an easy two. Nice block there and no layups. This defense means business. Serious business. Fletcher bricks an open shot. The Bucks have possession two down. Stapley out on top. Takes the jumper. Neighbors pulls down the defensive rebound. Great box out. That's the way you go after a defensive rebound, especially early on in a close game. Matera drops it in. Wofford with the inbound. The Buccaneers take the ball up, down four points right now. Stapley puts the ball up top. They cut it underneath. Griffith lays it in. Austin Griffith. That was a nice call. This coach basically has something up his sleeve here. He capitalizes on some weak coverage and basically calls an audible, calls a play out on the floor, and his team did a nice job of recognizing it. Returns the ball. They take it in. Mims takes it back out. Puts up the J. Griffith, too hard on that shot, it went long. The Highlanders bring it up court with a two-point lead. What a pretty assist that was. And he's really racking up those assists right now. He's got a great awareness of where his teammates are on the floor. He's got eyes in the back of his head. Emerson comes in, he doesn't get a whole lot of minutes. Mims throws it in. The Bucks take the ball up. Down four points right now. Stapley has the ball up top. The inside shot. Nice work getting that rebound, and Jay, that's one thing they've done very well tonight, controlling the glass. Mike, it's been relentless pursuit of the basketball on the boards. That's just hard work, and it's put them in a position to limit their opponents to one shot, and they're getting high-percentage second-chance opportunities on their offensive end. 
Oh, what a great pass. That one is an assist. That's easy to spot. Jay, that is a setup supreme for a big guy. You're not going to miss those opportunities when you get him in rhythm like that. What a great pass delivered right in his shooting alley. Two-point differential between these clubs. Here we go. For the three, Fletcher missed from the corner. No luck there. You're never going to get that wide open again. Henry with it up top. Shoots it. Stapley perfect on the shot after the beautiful crossover. Well, the only reason the coach isn't yelling his lungs out on that play is because the shot went in. Really poor shot selection there, Mike. That's when a coach says, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, great shot. The Buccaneers were leading in this basketball game midway through the first half. Now we've got a tie ball game, Jay. What do you think these kids are doing on the court? Mike, I think this team needs to really make good decisions down the stretch in the closing minutes of this first half. When you're tired, sometimes you take the easy way out. They need to really dig down and concentrate and make tough plays. Fletcher has it up top. He's doubled up. The ball's free. The Buccaneers touched the ball last before it went out. Locklear looks fresh coming back out. Graham going to the bench. with the inbound pass. He's in close. Boy, what a beautiful pass. Oh, does that dish set up that one? And the jumper goes in. Great execution of the total all-around play. Jay, what do you do with the clock running down here? I, I think you pull it out and you go for one shot here, Mike, and make it a good shot that gives you time to get a rebound, but no time for the other team to take it the other way. Stapley with it out top. For two points. Griffith can't drop in the runner. Markovic can't get the buzzer beater to fall. We've reached halftime with the score, 8-8. Eight eight. Let's take a look at ESPN's top performers in the half. Substitution. Matera spent quite a bit of time on the bench, now coming back in. Mike, this game's going to be all about toughness. They are even in just about every category. And really, it's going to come down to loose balls, doing the difficult things, the hard things well. Neighbors makes a nice assist on that bucket. They feed it inside. Graham drops it in. Mike, this guy is not much of a shooter, and he drops that one in despite the decent coverage from the defense. That was a solid play. Curry has the ball up top. Fletcher a bit long, but he got the great bounce, and it fell in. The Bucks have possession, two down. Graham botches the layup. Talented player, and he's big, too. He used his size on that play to make up for his Let's lack of go. positioning. That's a Let's great go. play. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! With the jumper, Matera can't connect from 12. You can't stop every shot from going in, but you can reduce a player's production by limiting easy baskets. Nice work on defense. With the shot, Curry misses the jump shot. Two-point differential between these clubs. For the deuce, Curry gets the rebound, and now has five on the game. 
Islanders bring it up court with a two-point lead. Neighbors with the ball up top. Fletcher from the arc can't get it to go. The Buccaneers are in a great position to tie it up here. Let's see if they can make this possession work. He shoots. Graham can't hit from the high post. Two point differential between these clubs. Blocked right there. It's knocked away. The Charleston Southern Buccaneers couldn't hang on to the ball and went out of bounds off of a player. Curry triggers it in. He puts it up. Let's check out this play. This is textbook. Can't set it up much better than that. No, that's a beautiful assist right there, Mike. That's the way you draw it up on the chalkboard. Mims a little short on that one, but got the soft rim. The Radford Highlanders bring it up court with a two-point lead. The Highlanders have a close game here tonight. They were ahead in the first half, now with a slight edge on the scoreboard. I know they want to expand on that lead, but you can't be idle because anything can happen. How's it unfolding for them? Mike, this is a really tight game. There's no real advantage for either team in any particular area. I think this game's going to come down to toughness. Which team is tougher? Who gets the big defensive rebounds? Who makes the move that is able to draw a foul and get to the free throw line for tough points? Who is able to get to those loose balls? You control the loose balls, you may be able to control this game. They drop it into the low post. Textbook play down in the low post. Good patience as this kid was determined to back his man down and get into the low post. If he keeps putting that ball on the floor making that move, you've got to double team him right off the first dribble. Fires. Locklear, about 11 feet, good. Aldrin Locklear! Graham puts the ball in play. It's a six-point ball game. Graham with the layup. LeBron, Graham! the shot. Fletcher isn't successful with the tough look. The Bucks take the ball up, down four points right now. Stapley lays it right in. Nice exchange there for the offense. He cans the shot, and he's not known as a terrific shooter. The Highlanders bring it up court with a two-point lead. Mike, as we head down to the last couple minutes in this ballgame, this is all about toughness. These teams are virtually even in every major category of this game. So it's going to come down to who wants it more. When that ball's loose on the floor, who's got the guts to go down and get on the floor and get it? Possession means a victory in this game. Seven to go, the shot clock winding down. Curry, good look there, he hits the Jay. With this amount of time on the clock, what do you want to do here, Jay? Well, Mike, I think this is a two-for-one situation. Let's see if their guards can recognize it and they can get a good shot in a hurry. Graham misses, he just shot that one short. The Highlanders will take a time out there. Locklear throws it in. For three. Fletcher hits the right side and comes out. 
All right, Jay, here we go. Ball across half court with a minute to go. What a ball game. Crunch time, Mike. This is where you have to play smart. You can't let your emotions get the best of you. You have to make good decisions. The Highlanders call timeout. Stapley is called for the personal. That's his first foul of the game. Four-point game we've got right now. Stapley will wrap him up. That will be his second foul of the contest. Stapley is called for the foul. That's his third foul so far. Curry out on top. Stapley is called for the foul. And that will get him his fourth foul of the ball game. Let's go. Graham will wrap him up. That will be his second foul of the contest. Curry with the inbound. Wofford is called for the personal. That's his first foul of the game, but they're already in the bonus, so they'll get a chance at the line for the one and one. He makes his first shot at the line. And he gets both free throws to drive. The Charleston Southern Buccaneers decide to call a timeout. time now not a lot of time left on the clock under a minute Jay there's not a lot of time Mike they need a quick basket and then get a foul they've got to stop this clock and make the other team march to the free throw line and hit big free throws Wofford is called for the personal he picks up his second foul we're in the bonus and we'll go to the line to shoot one and one he hits the first free throw Both free throws are good. Wofford with the inbound pass. The Charleston Southern Buccaneers have an opportunity to chip away at the lead with a score. Stapley with the ball up top. Graham unloads. Wofford will pick up the personal. That will be his third the bonus situation in effect, so we'll head in the line for the one plus one. He makes his first shot at the line. The second free throw is no good. Seven seconds to go. The Buccaneers call timeout. Stapley up top with the ball. The Buccaneers can't hit the three after the nice inbounds pass. There's the horn. This game is in the books. The final 